Hello, everyone. Welcome back in to our Monday night edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather. Hope you had yourself a good weekend. It was a lot colder than we were expecting it to be, although we had the inversion going on, so it wasn't too bad for the skiers, that's for sure, because they had a nice uh, little uh, warmer temperature uh, experience up there. Our photograph for tonight, this was a special one because Charlie and Kathy Young are at it once again. They've got their house completely decorated, all types of cool decorations and music going on. 4088 Birch Lane off of uh, Fairbanks Street. And uh, bring the kids there, have a good time, and uh, by all means, check it out. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktbf11.com. And we're looking for those Christmas photos, too, so keep that in mind. Once again, a reminder, our uh, Fab Photo calendar is still out at many places around the area, so keep that in mind. The temperature today, 1 degree above the low last night, 15 below. The record high, 52 in 1934, but that 1935 year was a cold one. A record low of 59 below. Our sunrise and sunset, about 4 hours and 14 minutes. That is a loss of another 4 minutes from yesterday. And again, a reminder in the fab photo, like I said, they are out. Uh, good stocking stuffers, uh, quite a few areas, uh, quite a few businesses, I should say, across the area still have them. So go to our website, webcenter11.com, and check it out. See where you can find one, the closest one to you. Our satellite and radar, again, showing the flow coming out of the southeast. When it comes out of that direction, again, the Alaska Range blocks most of it out. We just had some stratus around today, giving us a few flurries here and there. But all in all, nothing uh, really strong expected to come our way right on through the week. And colder temperatures actually in the forecast for tomorrow. Speaking of temperatures and sky conditions, a little rain falling once again around the Juneau area. Cold rain, 33 degrees there, 43 at Ketchikan. Anchorage, 13 degrees for their high today. Kodiak, 14, uh, 42 degrees along the Aleutian chain. Some cloudy skies at Cold Bay up and down the west coast in the single digits for Nome and Bethel. 21 below at Barrow as the colder air definitely is in poised in, to move into that area. And 13 below at Fort Yukon. Lower 48 weather, again, temperatures across the country showing that it's cooling down around the Pacific Northwest, but a lot of rain and snow in the forecast there. Nice weather over the western half of the country and uh, not too bad in Dallas, 68 degrees, lots of sunshine. Rain falling around Minneapolis, 46 degrees there. Over the eastern side of the country, looking at uh, Chicago, only 38 degrees. Sunshine up and down the uh, east coast till you get to around the Florida Peninsula, then some showers around the Miami area. On the satellite and ra uh, radar, radar, I should say, you can see the showers moving out over the Atlantic Ocean. Here comes the next big storm. It's a big one moving across the Pacific Northwest, bringing with it a lot of weather. In fact, uh, so much that uh, they're expecting uh, tremendous amounts of snow and a lot of rain over the Pacific Northwest all the way through this week. And uh, it'll be moving all over Washington, Oregon, and in Northern California. All because the jet stream, once again, coming right down out of the north and then diving down to the south and then roaring across to the east and taking all that with it. And down to the south, it's warm, but to the north, it's cool and cold, or cool and snowy, I should say. All right, time once again for our kids' weather. And this week, we're starting off with another school. Tonight, we're featuring Pearl Creek Elementary School. And here's a young lady with a very nice poem. Here is my poem. Winter. Winter is a time when snow falls, water freezes, and all is white. We hibernate while nature is put on hold. But the question is, when will spring arrive? Spring. Spring is a time when birds talk and plants grow. But the question is, how does Mother Nature do it without mankind's help? Lady's got some talent. Watch for her in the future. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. And tomorrow night, another young lady will be here with a, a picture that she has of a storm in Nebraska. All right, here's your forecast for the rest of Alaska. For the northern sections, cloudy skies with flurries in Barrow, scattered clouds at Nome and Fort Yukon. Temperatures chilly and over the interior, looking at morning flurries for Fairbanks becoming partly cloudy by afternoon for Healy and decreasing clouds for the Delta Junction area with colder air moving back in. Over southeast Alaska, a little rain and snow for Juneau, scattered showers at Ketchikan, while over to the southwest part of the state, we'll be looking at rain for Cold Bay, showers for Kodiak, and just partly cloudy skies for Bethel. And down around the Anchorage Bowl, it looks like uh, plenty of sunshine for Anchorage, mostly sunny skies in Homer, and more sunshine expected in Valdez, so good weather down there. Our forecast for the remainder of the night, not just cold, but we do have an air quality problem going on once again. Fairbanks in a stage two, unhealthy for sensitive groups, and North Pole also a stage two in moderate levels, so keep that in mind when you're burning the wood uh, tonight and tomorrow. 
Tonight, overnight low, 15 below, cloudy skies, a few flurries possible. Tomorrow's forecast, cooler than it was today, 8 below, scattered clouds by afternoon, turning colder by evening. The overnight low tomorrow night could be close to 30 below in the low-lying areas. 9 below for the high on Wednesday with partly cloudy skies right on through the rest of the five-day period. Maybe a chance of seeing some light snow by Saturday. Temperatures once again pretty chilly, but leveling out a little bit better by Saturday and Sunday. Typical weather you would expect this time of year.